Hello everyone, it's Jira Bro back with the another video. In this video, we are actually gonna be uh, talking about how you can get all of your projects using the uh, Jira Cloud REST API, and this is actually the uh, Python Python script. So this is actually done in Python. Um, it's kind of much easier to do it in the Python, but of course, if you prefer to use any other pro programming language, uh, please, please free to do so. So the very, very first thing that you actually need here, so it's using the uh, basic authentication and the basic authentication is going to be your email address with the, your, um, with your uh, generated API key. And it's also using the uh, requests library that is basically using the uh, HTTP, HTTP requests. And also it, it's going to use JSON as well. The very first thing that uh, you actually need to do is to um, get your, uh, get your instance um, URL. It's actually pretty easy. And then you're going to be using the uh, slash uh, rest slash API. I'm, I'm actually using the API version two, but you can also use, use the version three. It's, uh, it's in the beta, of course, if something doesn't actually really work out, just so be aware that it's still in the beta phase. And um, yeah, some of the things might not work. And it's saying the project now. If you go to your documentation, it will probably and it will say that uh, this uh, specific request has been deprecated. But that uh, doesn't mean that you cannot actually run this and get any of the errors. So, and for the basic off, you are also going to change this. Uh, the rest is also well uh, the same. And uh, this is uh, what this is the uh, what it's going to print. So it's going to print everything in the JSON format. So if we actually go ahead and run this, so this is this is the result that we'll we will actually get. As you can see, the rest the list is pretty long, and we are getting this response of having all of these uh, all of these projects lined out. So. It's defining the ID of the project, is defining if the project is uh, is private or not, what is the key, what is the name, what is the project category of it. Of course, if there is some kind of the category, would its ID defined here as well? What is the project type key? So this is like the service desk uh, type of a project. Also another project in here. And this one is also a service desk and etc. This one, this one is, for example, the business type of a project. It also has a different ID. So, uh, yeah, this is something that I wanted to show you. And actually, it actually does work. And it actually generates all of the uh, projects within your instance. So yeah, that is everything that I wanted to talk about in this uh, video. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel as well. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.